Too often, man's interest in nature focuses only on one species or one behaviour of one species. When in actual fact, it's often the relationships between two or more species that are critical to the environment. These relationships are also known as ecology, and that's what we're here at Upton Heath today to look at. I'm standing in the middle of a five metre square territory that belongs to a pair of thriving silver studded blue butterflies. Now this is one of the rarest species of butterflies in the UK and is found only in the south of England, exclusively on heathland and chalk grassland. One of the reasons why these butterflies are so rare and they're only found in heathland is because of their very specific diet. They feed on Erica tetralix and Erica cinera, which are found only in heathland such as this. One of the fascinating things about this species is the incredible symbiotic relationship it has with a certain type of ant. These, Laceus nesia, the black garden ant. What the butterfly will do is lay its egg nearby and when the larvae hatches, it secretes a resin called honeydew, which is very sugary. The ants feed off this and so they bring the larvae into the nest and care for it, protect it from parasites and ensure that it remains safe as it develops. In exchange, the ants farm the honeydew and get a food source from the larvae. This relationship serves to highlight how an impact on one species can have a massive effect throughout a whole ecosystem. If we start taking for granted one animal, even if we think it's small and insignificant, it will cause damage, perhaps even irreparable damage, to a whole wildlife system. That's why conservation of heathland and many other areas in Britain is so important. These, the Laceus nesia, or the black garden ant. Now, the butterfly will lay its eggs nearby and the ants bring the larvae into the nest and as it matures, it secretes a sugary resin. This resin is called honeydew. The ants will feed off it as the larvae grows and in exchange it is protected until it develops to a fully fledged adult butterfly. Okay, I'm here. These ants, God, just, there's hundreds of them. Uh, what they'll do is they'll bring, bring the larvae down into the nest and they'll feed off the honeydew all throughout the year. And you just don't want to disturb them because they will bite the hell out of you. I had an old army buddy who was out on patrol once. He was bitten to death by ants. Nasty way to go. I'm going to leave these be. Let's get going.